All right, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, PlayStation Deals, um, in which uh, I basically tell you what uh, good deals th there are uh, for PlayStation games. Anyway, uh, this one is very specific, uh, away from the PlayStation Store. Uh, this one has to do with uh, the Humble Bundle uh, website. Uh, basically, they have the Humble Indie PlayStation Bundle 2019, as you can see over here. And uh, pretty much uh, you pay what you want, but I recommend uh, just paying, well, I only pay like the minimum amount, like 15 bucks. So for this one, uh, if you pay a dollar or more, you immediately unlock uh, Green Fandango, which is basically pointless because if you have a PlayStation Plus account, you should have gotten this already. This is a, PlayStation, uh, a free PlayStation Plus game. Uh, this one though, The Bard's Tale. This is a great game. Um, this is, if you've ever played it before, well, I, the first time I played it was on a PlayStation 2, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's a great game. Uh, if you remember Champions of Norath, I don't know if you guys ever played that. It's basically a top-down game like, uh, say, Diablo 2, or in uh, nowadays Diablo 3. Or even, uh, what do you call that game? Uh, what was it? Uh, something of Exile, Path of Exile, or I don't know. Anyway, but it's going to be like that type of game. It's really good and it's really funny. So I highly recommend, uh, if you're going to spend any money, pay at least a dollar to just unlock Bard's Tale and then add it to your uh, PlayStation account. Uh, then we have Inner Space. I'm not really sure about this game. Let's actually take a look what it is. Uh, let's see. Final days. Oh, actually, we could play a video, but let's not do that. Also, I'm on the PlayStation 4's uh, web browser, so it's all janky. So it's an exploration flying game set in, in the inverse. Huh. Um, let's see. So it's a flying game. Must be all artsy and whatnot. That's what I'm guessing. So you, you at least get this game, but the main game that you want is The Bard's Tale. Next, the next bracket uh, is if you pay um, about $9.88, uh, $9 you unlock Layers of Fear. I'm uh, pretty sure, I, I think this is a PlayStation Plus game. I could be mistaken, but somehow it's in my account. So, not sure if this is a PlayStation Plus game, but it's in my account. I've, I've never downloaded it. I just added it to my account. Um, Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. Th this is another good game, tactics game. Uh, so, if you play games like XCOM 2 or whatever like that, you can. Uh, you may like this game. Um... This, uh, I have this game on Steam. Uh, I just never installed it. I, again, I don't know how or why I have it, but it's in my account. It's really weird. Next, we have the Talus Principle. Uh, Talus Principle, it should be a free game, so especially it came with your PS Plus uh, account. Um, it was a, a free game uh, a, a few months ago. I'm not really sure what it's all about. Uh, it could be a mystery game. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, is that a robot? Hmm. Overcome more than 120 immersive puzzles. Okay, so a puzzle game. Okay, uh, I may actually look into this, uh, install it, because I did enjoy that uh, cube puzzle game. And uh, let's see, let's take a look at the next one. Next one is The Broken, uh, or Broken Age. I'm pretty sure this is a PlayStation Plus free game. So basically, if... If nothing else, you're going to end up buying Layers of Fear and Wasteland 2 with the extra, if you go above uh, $9.88. So that's good. That's good. It's still two good games. Okay, next. Uh, if But if you pay $15 or more, I'd stop at $15 personally. Uh, you're going to get Killing Floor 2, which is a game I already have. It's still worth it. Uh, wish I could give the code to somebody else. If uh, if they give out a code, I might post it on the description. 
Uh, yeah, because I already have the game. I might just uh, give the put the code on there, or whoever comments first, I'll just give the code to whoever that guy is. Um, then uh, we have Shadow Warrior. This is worth it for Shadow Warrior, uh, mainly because uh, it's a it's a cooperative cooperative game, open world. Uh, like I think it's open world, yeah. Um, and it's like what do you call that? You, it like creates its own world so you can uh, it's never the same game every time you play it let's see four player co-op so yeah that's really good oh that's the word I was looking for procedurally uh, procedural environments so that's cool and it's not stop shooting if you ever played the first one it's just hack and slash shoot in first person mode so that's really good so I recommend paying at least $15 to get to this level. If you don't have Killing Floor 2, that's even better because you're only paying $15 and you're getting a, a great amount of games. So that's pretty much it. Just pay, uh, pay your... Let's see, where, where's the payment button here? Uh, I guess you, pay, you click on this. Let's see. Let's try it actually. Yeah, yeah. So here it is. So order summary, just uh, pay fifteen dollars. You click on this, or actually, you can do a custom amount. Oh no, no, where is it? So pay fifteen dollars. Choose where you uh, where you uh, where you want the money to go. I don't recommend putting it on the publishers. Put it all on charities. Like, well, it's up to you guys what uh, what you want to do. But uh, instead of publisher, I recommend putting all the money on charities. Um, not the humble tip. Uh, I would recommend the, just, just the charities. So, and then like fill all this in information and you get your email, uh, put your email on here and they email you the code. And that's it. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please uh, do subscribe. We're almost at 400 uh, subscribers and hopefully we get some more. And yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, on the next deal uh, and I'll make a video about it. Alright, thanks for watching.